from hairless dogs and cats and rats to follically challenged lions and apes. Here are 20 epic creatures without hair. Hey Taryn Brenner, here's a shout out your way for letting us know how much you like epic wildlife. So glad you decided to subscribe. And thanks to you and to everyone out there for all that awesome subscriber support. Cheers. Rhinos. Four of the five species of this enormous creature are found to have little in the way of body hair. With the white rhino, it mostly shows up around the ear fringes and tail bristles, and then appears in very sparse amounts along the body. Now, the Sumatran is the smallest species with an average adult weight of around 1,500 pounds, and they tend to exhibit the most hair, which can actually range from dense to sparse. Younger calves do tend to display the densest hair. Chinese Crested Dog. This is one of four breeds of hairless dog recognized by the American Kennel Club. Now, these dogs exhibit soft, human-like skin and do have tufts of fur on the paws and tail, as well as flowing hair on its head, which is called a crest. And did you know this dog is actually found in two varieties, the hairless and the powder puff, which does have fur. They belong to the same breed, though, and can be born in the same litter. Hippos. These semi-aquatic mammals are known for the huge canine tusks and sheer immense size. Adult males can weigh in excess of 3,300 pounds. They're also known for being completely hairless, or nearly so anyway. Its skin is about two inches thick and serves as a more useful insulator, in addition to helping protect the animals from predators. A lot of people have remarked about the resemblance to pigs or other animals, but experts say hippos are actually more closely related to modern-day cetaceans, like dolphins and whales. African elephants. Now, the largest terrestrial land mammals live in conditions where hairlessness is an adaptation to its hot, dry environment. Calves will usually evidence reddish or brownish hair. As the animals mature, the hair will darken but start thinning out. Certain parts of the body will retain dense concentrations of bristles and hair on the end of the tail, in addition to areas including the chin and around the eyes and ears. Now generally, Asian elephants will display more hair than their African counterparts. Walrus. Now, some human mammals are sometimes said to have a walrus-like mustache, but the marine mammals themselves don't really have hair. They have vibrancy, and that's a mat of stiff bristles around the tusks, which inspires a whiskered appearance. Up to 700 of the vibrancy can grow in 15 rows to around 12 inches long, the highly sensitive organs used for differentiating shapes. Otherwise, the huge critters appear mostly bald, except for an occasional patch of fur. Under the skin, they have a layer of blubber that measures around 6 inches thick. Babarusa. Found in Indonesia, this mammal is best known for its unusual appearance. The males have prominent canine tusks that curve inwards and can pierce the skin of the snout. In fact, if the babarusa does not grind its tusks on a regular basis, they can penetrate the critter's own noggin. The North Sulawesi babarusa is the best known species, and it appears nearly bald, although it does have some very short hair. Domesticated pigs, also referred to as swine. These animals are raised for commercial purposes, including meat and leather. The creatures are mostly hairless, but they do have some stiff, short hairs that are called bristles. Now, those bristles have often been used for paintbrushes, the kind you paint houses with, that is. And did you know that these critters have an excellent sense of smell and foraging abilities? In many European countries, in fact, domesticated pigs are often used to find truffles. Skinny pig. Even though some people do not believe it, these nearly hairless critters are actually a breed of guinea pig. Their bare skinned appearance is due to a recessive genetic mutation. The animals will typically exhibit a small amount of hair around the muzzles, legs, and feet. They come in a variety of patterns and colors, and the texture of the skin can appear not unlike that of a human's. They're often bred for laboratory use and are often used in dermatology studies. And did you know skinny pig? That term can be a reference to the slender appearance or to the bald bodies.
Hairless rats. Now these are a type of fancy rat, or a domesticated rat that is commonly found as a pet rat. The name comes from the idea of animal fancy, which is to appreciate or to fancy animals. They've been specially bred as pets since the 18th century. The hairless variety can actually go from showing patches of short fur to being completely naked. They're often used in laboratories for researching immune system deficiencies and for kidney diseases. Now a subset of these critters are called patchwork rats. During their lifespan, they'll continually lose and regrow hair in different patches on their body. Hairless Bulldog Bat. Now the nickname for this flying mammal is easy enough to suss out. It's said to look like a bulldog and its body is practically devoid of hair. But its gray skin can exhibit some short bristle-like hairs around its neck and throat sac, and a few fine hairs sprout on its head and tail membrane. This bat species is known as a hawking insectivore. That is, they use echolocation to catch flying insects while on the wing. Nude Mouse. Now here's another case where it's pretty easy to see how the creatures get the nickname. These little rodents are often used in laboratories and were initially discovered by scientists in Scotland in the early 1960s. Their appearance is due to a genetic mutation that inhibits the growth of the thymus gland. Because of the deficiency, they've proven valuable in research involving the immune system, leukemia, and in the treatment of tumors. Peruvian dog. The Peruvian hairless or Inca orchid is one of the strangest looking breeds of dog in the world. It's also one of the rarest. Its lineage dates back to pre-Incan times, but heading into the 21st century, the animals were close to becoming extinct. They were safeguarded when the Peruvian government ordered all archaeological sites along the coastline to adopt a pair of the dogs, and now they are Peru's only breed that is world registered. While they're characterized by the hairless appearance, some pups are born with hair. Cetaceans. Now these are the whales, dolphins, and porpoises that make up the largest group of hairless mammals. And given their aquatic environment, hair would likely only slow them down. Just ask any human swimmer who shaves the body hair to reduce drag and increase the speed. Cetaceans are born with hair, but they lose what little they have shortly after birth. However, boto dolphins are said to retain hairs about the rostrum throughout their life. Naked Mole Rat. These critters have a nightmarish appearance, what with their pruny skin, bold look. But did you know that weird skin has no pain receptors? The native to East Africa and are highly social animals living in colonies underground. And they have a number of unique traits apart from their appearance. Unusual for mammals, these rodents are mostly cold-blooded. They've also been proven to survive without oxygen in addition to being highly resistant to cancer. Sphinx cats. You can identify these felines by several prominent physical traits, large ears and eyes, muscular bodies, and a near complete lack of hair. They gained that trait through a selective breeding process that began in the 1960s, and the skin reflects the color of what the fur would be, along with the normal cat markings like solid, van, or calico. Contemporary Sphinx cats are also referred to as the Canadian Sphinx. Other popular breeds include the Peterbald and the Don Sphinx, which is actually unrelated to the Canadian breed. Zolo. Now that is a short version of the dog's proper name, which is Zolo Eats Quintly, which frankly is about as close as I'm gonna get. So we'll just leave it there. Now in many countries, it's more commonly referred to as the Mexican hairless dog. The breed is thought to date back some 3,500 years and was considered sacred by the Aztec and other groups. They viewed the canines as guardians that would repel evil spirits and intruders. Did you know these dogs were among the first breeds recorded by the American Kennel Club in 1887. Red Wakari, also known as the Bald Wakari, for reasons you can figure out for yourself. Now coming up, we're gonna tell you all about an ape that lost its hair to the disease of alopecia. But these monkeys from the Amazon River Basin are bald by virtue of genetics. And they actually do have some long hair, it's just that none of it grows on the head. The hairless red noggin provides for a supremely surreal image. And it results from the lack of pigmentation, along with blood vessels that are located close to the skin. Plucked over. Did you know that there really is a bird known as a bald parrot, which is native to the Amazon in Brazil? The low feathering and bare skin on its noggin inspired that name. But 
we're going to show you a different type of bald parrot here. It almost looks like the bird's feathers have been scorched off of its skin. Now, this bird's raw, bald look is not due to genetics, however. It's the result of excessive preening by its mate. Or another way of saying that this parrot's mate really plucked it over. Kung Fu Rabbit. When pictures of this critter went viral a few years back, a lot of people thought it bore a strong resemblance to Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid movies. Now, to be fair, the mostly hairless rabbit does look like it would be right at home in some sort of a Kung Fu movie, what with his wizened look and sage mustache goatee. It could even pass for a Jedi if it gave it robes and a lightsaber. But you know what? After all said and done, it's really just a normal rabbit that took a little longer for its fur to grow in. But once it did, Miyagi-san was easily lost in the crowd. And before getting to the number one hairless critter, let's take a moment to remind you that if you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them down below. Now, you know, while researching this episode, we found some interesting creatures that were not entirely hairless, but they are still worth a look. Now, have you ever heard of a bald lion? The Savo lion is an unusual type of big cat in that the males possess a very smooth pelt, but they generally do not have a mane. Experts think the condition might be an adaptation to their environment or the result of producing too much testosterone. Now, interestingly, that reason has also been cited as one of the causes of male pattern baldness in humans. Could there be a connection, or do you think we'll maybe split in hairs? Oh, and by the way, we mentioned that there are four officially recognized hairless dog breeds, but we only mentioned three earlier. Now, here's the canine we unintentionally omitted. That's the American Hairless Terrier. It's a rare breed that was originally a variant of the Rat Terrier. They're said to be a favorite choice among allergy sufferers, and they have a rep for being feisty and friendly. The Naked Ape. Like a lot of animals, including humans, great apes can experience the effects of alopecia, which causes hair loss. In the case of one chimp, his boldness helped to make him a star attraction at the Mysore Zoo in India. Guru was a 20-year-old chimpanzee whose hair loss revealed a muscular definition underneath that looked extremely human-like. Or in other words, a lot of visitors thought the ape looked pretty well ripped. Veterinarians aren't exactly sure how or when Guru's alopecia first appeared. Unlike a lot of humans, though, Guru did not stress over his hair loss. <laughs> 